You know, there are a lot of outstanding restaurants in Boston's Back Bay, but I'm about to take you inside of the neighborhood's most popular hangout, Back Bay Social on Boylston Street. This place definitely has something for everyone. It's a good place to go on a date or to meet some friends for drinks after work or to have a great brunch on the weekend. And in terms of the menu, Back Bay Social specialty is scratch made upscale comfort food. So let's get a taste of some of the most popular dishes with the director of operations, Luke Beardsley. All right, Luke, now I'm a comfort food kind of guy. Back Bay Social is a comfort food kind of place. And for me, rigatoni bolognese is one of those dishes that just always makes me feel good, brings a smile to my face, warms my body. So tell me about your bolognese. What makes it so special? So our bolognese is really done in a classic style. We start out with fresh mirepoix veggies, so carrots, onions, and celery, a little bit of garlic, and then we will cook that down, kind of sweat the veggies out in the pan, add in freshly ground beef, freshly ground pork, and freshly ground veal, cook that down, and then we'll add in our pomodoro sauce and a little bit of cream to finish the dish, and then just slow cook the ragu for a long while, and then toss it with some al dente rigatoni, top it with a little bit of aged padano and parmesan. Yeah, and that slow cooking process, it's like that whole labor of love thing. It is one of those dishes. You can tell if somebody has taken a shortcut with a bolognese or if they're doing it the right way. And the fact that you guys are doing it, you know, at this sort of neighborhood tavern kind of place is actually kind of amazing. Another very popular dish that you do over at Back Bay Social. I'm a meat and potatoes uh, kind of guy as well. And for people that like that, steak frites is definitely a go-to. So tell me about your version and kind of what makes that steak and, and that combination of fries so good. I mean, first off, it's that we cook over a live flame. So yes. we're not using a flat top. We're not cooking cooking anything in an oven or any kind of like high-tech equipment. We're just right over the flame on the grill, cooked to order, freshly cut in-house steaks, and then we're doing an up off style on the steak. So we get that classic, like really peppery steak flavor. We always use really good cuts too. That's one of our things. We use a bunch of local butchers and that's that's how we get our steak frites to where it is. I know, I mean, you think about it, right? You know, up and down the street, you have very high-end steakhouses on either side of you where you're paying, you know, $70 sometime for a steak. You can get a fraction of the cost and a really good steak and a plate of fries at Back Bay Social. Now, of course, a lot of people are just coming in. They're sitting at the bar. They're getting a beer. They're getting a bourbon. And they're getting a burger. And that was the first dish I ever had at Back Bay Social. And frankly, I have a hard time ordering anything else because I think you make one of the best burgers in Boston. And I'm assuming that was kind of one of the keys to starting the restaurant. You need a great burger, and you go from there. Yeah, I mean, it's always been a uh, go-to for us over at Back Bay being a neighborhood place. We use Brant beef for our burgers, so it's some of the top-rated choice freshly ground beef that you can get. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. We use an aged cheddar, and then uh, Chef Antonio does a horseradish aioli that he obviously makes in-house from scratch as well. A little bit of lettuce, some smoked bacon, and then we got Grillo's pickles from Cambridge on the side. Obviously, for anybody who's had Grillo's, it's I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed yeah. with Grillo's pickles. <laughs> yeah. I love that guy, and I love their stuff, no yeah. doubt about it. Uh, Chef Antonio, definitely a genius, and he also makes one heck of a brunch on the weekends. And I know that's become an increasingly popular meal. People coming out just for brunches in general, but you guys do a very underrated. Brunch. Brunch. So what kind of stuff are you offering and kind of what's the crowd that comes in? So we go all over the place. You know, obviously being in Back Bay, we get a lot of students, but we also have a ton of business from the neighborhood. We have yeah. a lot of folks, old and young, from all walks of life who come into Back Bay. It's one of the great things. And so that kind of informs our brunch menu. We go all over the world with it. And then we have some really hearty stuff too, because with the college kids, obviously a huge bowl of tater tots with melted cheese and house-made corned beef hash uh, <laughs> is always going to hit the spot. Absolutely yeah. incredible. Plus that bananas foster French toast. Yeah. I know you guys too. Yeah. That is an over the top breakfast kind of meets dessert.